welcome to HITC Sport. Right, okay, so I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while now, and in that time, footballers have also turned their hand to it. I share the same platform as Raheem Sterling, which in turn makes me and him work colleagues. He wouldn't give me the steam off his piss. Now, let's be honest, most of these lads have a team of editors working on their videos, because God forbid they would ever open a manual of Premiere Pro. But still, let's take a look at, um, you know, a few football YouTubers, and just... Just sort of see if they're any good. Better checks on YouTube, and it is exactly the sort of channel you would expect from a 36 year old man stuck in the basement with his drum kit, battling out god awful covers of the Foo Fighters, while his wife weighs upstairs, fingers in her ears, without weighing up the pros and cons of their marriage. So look at him, you would never think this man had won multiple league titles and a Champions League. You would just have assumed he was the assistant manager of a local petrol station, still with big hopes and dreams for his middle-aged band who all still live in their parents' basement and smell like sweat, cheese and disappointment. Oh my god, he has got the same facial expression as when Stephen Hunt kicked him clean in the head, dead in the eyes, staring into the eternal abyss. Honestly, look at him, he looks like he's just spent the last four hours snorting powder off the edge of a toilet seat. Alright, let's take a look at his first video. These are usually good. And by good, I mean the worst things on the f***ing planet. Isn't that right, Theo Baker? I probably sound quite nervous, because I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. But, uh, so yeah. So obviously it's just 2015, woohoo. New year, new me. I'll see you when you're younger. Yep, one video in and he already sounds like a f***ing paedophile. Moving on! Okay, check is good. Check is actually very good at the drums. I wonder if he just imagines the drum bass is Stephen Hunt's face. Okay, look, I know I'm slagging, but to be fair, I slag most people in my life. Probably why I was asked to leave my uncle's funeral 10 minutes into his eulogy. But to be honest, fair play to Peter. This fella is an example of a footballer who just likes to go home and rewind. Like a normal lad in his 30s. After a bad game or two, you know, it's, it's like therapeutic music to him. Nothing wrong with that. Fair play, big man. Memphis Depay is a YouTuber. I mean, of course he is. He definitely seems like the fellow who, if he's not spending his free time tossing himself off in front of a full-scale mirror, he's buried six inches deep inside a goddamn iPhone. A day in Manchester. Yeah, we're four seconds in and not only is it not raining, but there's not a single smackhead shooting up on a street corner. Where's the underage drinking? Where's the teenage pregnancy? False advertising. Memphis, you're in. Welcome to Manchester. Hi Memphis, welcome to Manchester. So this was supposed to be a welcome video where Depay probably paid some poor university graduate, desperate to not only pay off his student loans, but to also put something in his fridge that wasn't tins of dog food. So uh, essentially me two years ago. Hi Memphis, welcome to Manchester. Guarantee. Not one of them has ever heard of Memphis. Memphis. She genuinely looks like she's forgotten his name already. Welcome to Manchester, Memphis. Uh, Africa could do every game, thanks. Hope you bring a great addition to the team. Did you cut yourself shaving your f***ing eyebrows? But they not have found someone who looked like he hadn't been beaten up 10 minutes before the interview? The rest of DePay's channel is basically him training, rapping, or... And that, that's pretty much it. Young King living lavish. Beck and Liam going savage. So Raheem starting as a channel, three videos up, and already has more f***ing subscribers than me. You have three videos up. Three. I do one nearly every f***ing day. And all he's done is bang KSI in the title twice. Which for your channel is essentially like horsing down three buckets of YouTube Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great for both parties. <laughs> we are laughing. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this one. Football challenges with Raheem Sterling's mates. Uh, considering one of them is a fully fledged England international on 350 grand a week, and the other three probably spend their Friday nights down the local pub and eating kebabs. This is essentially like Arnold Schwarzenegger challenging a disabled child to an arm wrestle. Mido. Mido is even on YouTube. Well, he's been working for four or five months. He took three weeks to get the results and he did it exactly. He took three weeks to get the results and I couldn't tell you a thing about what this video is about or what they're doing, but to be honest, it looks like a private therapy session. Not sure it should even be on YouTube. It's probably a complete violation of Mido's human rights, but I'm glad to see he has slimmed down and no longer looks like he wants to devour his children. Over in mainland Europe, to really get into the mind of some of the world's top coaches and Simon Grayson, we've basically been allowed behind the scenes footage, whether it be for Netflix or Amazon, showing us exactly how the likes of Pep Guardiola gets into the minds of his players, with the production crew using some of the most expensive and cutting edge technology. In Egypt, they gave Mido a cheap camera, a dead plant, and a whiteboard. Next up is Bayern Munich winger Afonso Davies. And honestly, this was the video which made me remember just how f 
young footballers are. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Alfonso Davies. Um, after soccer, I have nothing else to do, so I might as well, you know, you know, throw a little content out there. Uh, uh, little bit, little bit, little bit. Here and there, splash, splash. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is how I think. This is how I think. What? This is not, no. Sure, the shirt got me looking like Bumblebee, though. <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. Comment. What you guys want to see? E that way. Which one? Like, if I didn't know this fellow was a footballer, you would just think braces, slight hit of ADHD, and a clear compulsive obsession with hats. He's a Canadian out in Germany on his own, clearly just needs a platform to vent. This fellow definitely cries himself to sleep each and every night. Yo! No, 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 no. I, I don't know. Yo, fuck, fuck, fuck. That's the Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> fuck, get you off the TV. Oh my. I can't, I can't see shit. That's the video. Turning off the telly. Here's a 23 minute terribly lit video of Alfonso eating his dinner. Although, Jesus Christ, I imagine if his manager found out how many fucking carbs were sitting on his plate, he'd be chucked off the tallest fucking tower in all of Munich. Boom! Transfer news by Munich. Once Afonso Davies saw that in the, in the, in the, on Instagram before the game. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I swear, if this man lived in Catholic Ireland 20 years ago, he could have a team of nurses dousing him in holy water and trying to expel the f***ing demon that lives within. And you know what it do? What it was, what it could be, you know what I'm saying? I don't have the slightest idea what you're saying. All right, Jesse Lingard next. Now I know what you're thinking. Giving that lad an entire corner on the internet in with which to unleash his narcissistic tendencies. Uh, it sounds like the end of mankind itself. Uh, a Jesse Lingard channel, it, it sounds like the worst thing to happen to the internet since two girls went to the toilet in something that should only be used to drink tea. Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. It's just an insight into my life. <laughs> and you remember the last guy that just used the YouTube channel as a vehicle to promote his clothing range? He ended up filming dead things hanging from a tree. I guarantee those kids won't be washing their hands for a f***ing month. To be fair, alright, Jesse's making time for these kids, taking selfies with them. He seems like an actual... Actually, decent kind of fella. I mean, I know his face is as punchable as something off a goddamn Disney channel, but still, you know, at least he's nice to his fans. Ryan Babbel is back in England. Uh, we've all missed him, I'm sure, considering what a brilliant spell he had at Liverpool. And, you know, just what a general all-round nice guy he's proved himself to be. Why do you hate Benitez so much? He's manager of Real Madrid while you beg your Twitter followers to add you on WhatsApp. I think you should concentrate on growing some tits instead of speaking about football. You're a girl, stay in your lane. Yeah, I wonder if he's ever spent time with Richard Keys. I'm about to do this Q&A very soon over Twitter, and I want you to think of your best question because I'm about to pick 10 best questions on Twitter and answer them in the video that I will post after this one. So think of your best question, not those questions that have been asked already a hundred times. Ask an original question and hopefully your question will be answered. Jesus Christ, did he go to the delivery school of Keanu Reeves? Give us a f***ing smile, Ryan! What's up, guys? I'm Ryan Babel. You obviously know me. <laughs> Footballers. They're a modest bunch, aren't they? You obviously know me. All right, I know David Moyer has a YouTube channel. I doubt Alan Pardy was a subscriber, but I'll be honest. Considering I'm not a gamer, I've never actually sat down and watched this. But I've heard it's decent, so, you know, I'll give it a go now. Yes, lads. Why does he remind me of my Sunday school priest? Yes, lads, welcome back. To um, hey, slap this hand, fucking legend. Ah, Jesus Christ, it must be an Irish thing, lads. I did pack Marcelo, um, I packed Van Dijk, did I pack Kante? It's actually mad to see a footballer speaking about his, you know, potential colleagues like they're just pixels on a screen. It's it's pretty cool though. As a former Ireland captain, it's, it's always had my respect anyway, and especially as someone who was forced to play with Paul McShane for three different teams. Good God, I'm surprised the man isn't stuck in weekly therapy. Hey, 
And anyway, that's the end of the video. And in all honesty, I actually think it's a good idea that more footballers are emigrating to YouTube. I mean, it's squeezing the life out of my life, dude. When well, the likes of Raheem Sterling are getting more subs than me, I have three goddamn videos. But still, I mean, look at someone like Fonzie. I mean, dropped in his head as a child? Without a doubt. But even something simple like sitting down with a table full of sushi and chatting bollocks into a camera, it sort of shows the players are, they aren't, they aren't robots. So maybe the kids that are watching now won't grow up to, you know, just use them as verbal punching bags every Saturday afternoon. Or maybe it'll just make absolutely no difference at all. But anyway, I'm out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Twitter and Instagram is there. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll talk to you in a while.